Hi guys, welcome back to the Wastelands Garage. Got another build for you today. We've got this little matchbox car that was donated to us and I fell in love with it right out of the box. I'm gonna do this as much justice as I can. I wanna keep it as true to as it looks now with all of the damage as it is. Uh, so let's take it apart. And as if by magic, it is taken apart. Uh, little bit of debris in there so it's obviously been used and well played with uh, the windows have got what I think is soap scum so you know when you play with stuff in the bath for a while you see the wheels have rusted uh, got some 3d printed wheels that he also stuck in the box for me and I'm going to use them they look like they were almost printed for this thing and I highly doubt that they were but who knows so let's get them stuck on bit of blue tack let's stick it all back together let's see inside such a nice interior I'm gonna gonna try and do something with that so after thinking about it I thought I'm gonna stick a little dude in there it's off of the Implements of Carnage 2 buggy, it's the driver. It's got one hell of a facial expression on him. It's not focusing very well there. And see, so yeah, we're going to pop him on. He fits in perfectly with that roof. With the roof, with the body on. And um, so we're going to go, I'm thinking of going Little Gunner Man on the back. Uh, again, from the same sprue, but with a heavy machine gun. Blue tacked on kind of what I reckon it's going to look like at the end but let's do something with that so the front windscreen doesn't fit very well with the guy in it now I want to do something with the inside I want this to look as good as I can get it but it doesn't quite fit properly so what are we going to do about that I'll tell you what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to cut it off. So cut the windscreen out, keeping the windows in. And if it's then, yay! I have to trim it down a little bit because you can still see a bit of the plastic. And I think his hair might just be clipping it at the back. So we'll trim it down a little bit. And there is it trimmed down a bit. So what we've got to do now is start dry fitting some stuff see how it's all going to fit so we've got the driver he is all there and the gunner and that is where he's going to go there the glue's not quite drying up there you go see fell apart now, now let's go for the body so as i said i want to keep this as true as it is now I want the damage on it still, I want to keep the colours um, as vibrant as they are. So we're going to go with some Typhus Corrosion, which is a technical paint. Technical. Uh, the technical part of it is there's sand in it, or grit, or dirt, whatever that is that they put in there. That's what it looks like when you paint it on. It's dirty, grimy, looks like mud. Um, then I come in with a Jacaro orange, Jakarta, I can't never pronounce that one properly. Orange Games Workshop, um, and then it is a medium dry brush. Now I don't do a super heavy, because I want that brown to stay on. But what you're doing is you're getting this orange to coat the grit and kind of the high rised sections. So. So we just did a little dry brush over it. We'll go all the way over this and uh, come back and show you what it looks like. And there it is, dry brushed on. It looks different as you can tell. It's not brown anymore. No, it's kind of brown, I suppose. Um, it's got a rusty look to it. Next, I go with a dry brush paint, riser rust, and this is a little 
pot that is, they say it's dry paint. It's not dry paint, it's a thicker paint for dry brushing. And this is it done. I've got real camera issues at the moment. It's not focusing as I want it to, so I apologize for that one. So let's have a look at the inside, shall we? Inside, just painted it black. That's all I did. Just a normal undercoat, get rid of that red. No one wants a red plastic interior. Another Citadel paint, this Italian sand this time. Uh, whenever I see these trucks in films, they've always got like a like a tanned kind of fabric on the uh, seat. So I'm gonna go and paint that in tan. I'm gonna do the seats and I'm going to do the... No, I think I'm just gonna do the seats in this one. I think I'll do something else for the center console. Yeah, we've got the wheels stuck on. Got the little dude. It's all painted in there. Stuck some bars on it. And it just it would seem to be lacking something. The inside, just a speed paint from Citadel for him. It's uh he needs some detail but he doesn't need too much. And yeah, so that is main car. And I think it looks good. So you can see there's a couple of bits of silver in there. And we're going to go with a different technique for the silver. Now, I was going to put that little guy on the back. But I've decided that I want it to have rockets. The little guy just looked a little bit weird uh, when I stuck him on. Didn't look natural enough to me. So we're going to stick these rockets on it instead. And in classic Wastelands Raceway fashion, I did a lot of stuff off camera. I stuck it on, I painted it, I painted the rockets in red. So what we're going to do now is, as I said, about these little silver dots here, we need to unsilver them, I suppose. Is the right word for it? Um, so as I said, I'm going to use another technique. So we're going to go with this dirty down rust paint followers that have been around for a while know I absolutely love this paint. Anyone that hasn't seen it before, prepare to be amazed. What you do, tiny little bit and you dab it on any metal sections. I always find it's easier if you paint it with a silver metallic colour first. It seems to react better um, with paint than it does with bare metal. Um, it is also designed apparently to go over black, but I don't think it goes over black very well. And all you've got to do is dab it on. If you brush it, it doesn't tend to look as good. Um, but you might have to do more coats. I don't know. I've never, never dabbed it. I've never done anything but dab it. Um, I don't do it over black. It looks rusty, but it looks like black rust instead of normal rust. So I'm just going to dab all of this, and um, we'll come back. And there she is, fresh out of the garage. Let's take her out of this stand. So there we go, rusted. Those bits on the front there you can see, it's still drying. It will lose that sheen. Uh, but I needed to show everybody it. I didn't touch the bottom, I wanted the bottom to stay exactly the same as it was. And um, so I wanted to keep it as true as I possibly could. And uh, I love it. So let us know what you think. Let us know what you would have done different if you'd like to see us do anything else. And get over to the Facebook page and check out the next set that we're going to set up or put up for you guys to decide what to do. Thanks, guys. Jump on the Facebook page, chuck all the socials, have a chat to us. We're always on there. And check out the Etsy page as well. All of the money that we get from that goes straight back into the channel. Till next time.